Hello and welcome to my Cinematic Unity series where I discuss the making of certain things, in this case the making of front report, the video you've just seen. Now it's pretty easy to do uh, because we have the asset store and the first thing we need to get is this fantasy landscape. Next thing we need is the soldier, low poly soldier demo, actually it's called. This one here. Then we need for effect, real fire and smoke. That is not free. And last but not least, I'm using the real-time recorder, which will be available in the asset store in fall of 2019. Uh, since it's not there yet, I have to import the package. That's going to be all we need. I'm not going to bother with skyboxes at this time. Uh, so uh, let's... There, there's actually um, a scene somewhere. I'm looking for it. Yeah, there. Demo scene with duplicate and drag and drop. Okay. Then we won't need this one anymore. Let me take that one. Okay. So now we have a landscape. Delete that. Nice landscape. Um, let's go here. This is where I want to start. About here. And now we need to go to the soldier. Here he is. So a couple of things need to be set up. Let's start with the animation. Uh, for that, well, there's already an animator and there's already an avatar, but we need an animator controller, which I'm going to create right now. So here, now we go to the animations and drag the three animations in. That's this one, this one, and that one. Okay, we're going to start with idle. And there's run and shoot animation. So I'm going to set this up. Well, first I'm going to create uh, parameters for it. First we want a trigger, which I'll call shoot trigger, and it has to have exactly that name. I'll tell you why later. And then a Boolean value of is walking, which also has to have exactly that name and no other, otherwise uh, something will not work later in the demo. So now we make a transition to run. And of course, run happens exactly when is walking is true. And it stops when is walking is false, of course. As long as false. Now we don't want exit times for either one of those. I want it to change rather abruptly, otherwise it won't be so easy to control it. Now, similar, we will have a transition to the shoot animation, which of course is triggered by 
the shoot trigger. But here we keep the exit time, so he will make his shot. Well, actually, no, I don't want to keep the exit time. I changed my mind. No exit time, and we go. back like this um, that's basically the setup now how do we tell that uh, animator to animate the soldier now for that we have a script that comes from the composer here scripts uh, there's a nav agent mover which we're gonna drop here and all sorts of things happened there's a mover, there's also a nav mesh agent now active, and this data file script, which we're going to look at later. So let's look at the mover first. Uh, this script will trigger the animator and the shooting. I'll show you how in a moment. Now, the next thing we need is to make a nav mesh for the environment here. Now, uh, this window is under Window AI Navigation. That's this. And for it to work, you need to select a terrain. This is the terrain, and I have to bake it. Now, all that blue area is where the soldier can walk. Now, the soldier is already set up, but I need a camera to keep an eye on him so uh, let's look at this camera where is it I want it to be looking at him like this shift control F camera moves here so now when I say play and I click on the terrain click here click there make him walk okay now let him come here and I press the right mouse button you see that he's shooting okay so he's all set up now we get to the recording of his movements now I could record every movement he makes but since he already has an animation I'm just going to record the shooting trigger and the destination when I click on the ground that's enough and for that I need a file I need to create a file so first thing I do I create a folder which I will call resources and it has to have that name because otherwise unity will not include those files that I will create in the final version in the standalone version so I just called notepad and I say save as because now I want to create this file was I already looking at the right thing here uh, what's that yeah front report assets resources okay and I will call it soldier 001 dot XML which is uh, something that unity understands there it is so now we can go back to the soldier drop this XML file into the there RC data file there don't need them so now I can walk the soldier around and he will record that when I tell him to like this let me just demonstrate that walk forward right and there good enough so if I say play now you will walk along those paths okay easy enough I'd like to see and hear better when the soldier fires his rifle now for that I need a couple of things I need an explosion and I need a sound for the explosion uh, easier part is the sound uh, for the sound we need an audio component audio 
uh, not listener source and what is it supposed to play well we have real fire and smoke here and there are sounds uh, and this one here is a nice sound uh, actually you can, I don't know if you can hear it on the recording or maybe that one also not bad let's take that one so back to the soldier we take that one that's with echo it's more interesting okay so now will he shoot that yes um, let's go to do nothing so I can just present this I don't know if you can hear that I can hear it but I also heard that he immediately fired why because in the audio source we still have play on awake set so okay so the nav agent mover is smart enough to see that there is an audio source and if there is an audio source it will play it when the shot is fired when the right mouse button is clicked however I also want to see an effect when the rifle shoots now that's going to be a bit more trouble to make because we're actually going to have to program something. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the nav agent mover script uh, at the very end. As a matter of fact, there is fire shot, a function that will be called um, when the right mouse button is clicked or when the script the recorded script says okay now it's time to fire the shot and there you see how the trigger is set yeah this is where you could also um, override it and just trigger something else instead of the shoot trigger if you don't like the name or whatever you can do whatever you want by overwriting this function see it's virtual so you can overwrite it but for that you have to make your own script sorry about that this is where you have to do it. So now we're going to uh, make a new folder. Actually, you have to go here, create folder scripts. And in that scripts folder, we make a script called, let's call it soldier mover. okay enter and we go back to visual studio there is the soldier mover but it's not derived from mono behavior but from nav agent mover and we won't need these functions at all but we want this method copy paste override and there we go now the first thing I want to do is call the base function so all that stuff is still executed and now I want to instantiate an explosion for that of course I need an explosion so let's make some public variables public game object explosion prefab and a public transform and explosion position or actually it's a parent but okay so now I can say instantiate the prefab at the explosion position now of course we need a prefab and a position let's do that then I'll save this and we also need to destroy that effect uh, once it's run its course so uh, well, actually ugh. 
Let's do this. And now destroy it. After, let's say, three seconds. Done. And go back to Unity. So I've already found the position where to place um, that shot. Uh, where's our... Oh, there. Yeah, it's still a nav agent mover. That we have to replace now by a soldier mover. That's the one we need. And we can remove that one. Remove. Okay, so here we have a position which comes from the soldier. I already found it. I called it muzzle. It's this position. So let's drop that in there for the position. And in the real fire and smoke, um, there's all sorts of explosions. And I'll go to low res, uh, explosions, fire explosion small. And I'll just drop that in there. I think that's the one I wanted. Let's test this. So I'm going to tell the soldier to do nothing so I can play around with it and play. Something's happening, so let's watch it from the side. Get my camera to stand right here. Where is it? Main camera. Shift Control F. So now looks fine nice good so um, everything is set up to create the actual movie what I didn't show you is uh, where I got the skybox uh, how I did the special effects or anything like that but you can imagine that you can play around with that to create the atmosphere that you like thanks so much for watching and uh, I hope uh, you will come back for more cinematic unity in the near future.